Today, I wanna to share with you a really simple hack that you can use on all your social media. And that is to actually use the exact same photo on all of your social media. That's all you have to do. Use the same photo. And here's the deal. If you're using the same photo, it makes it easy for people to connect with you. It makes it easy for people to recognize you from one platform to another, especially if you're using multiple platforms and you want people to recognize you easily, use the same photo. You don't have to go spend a lot of money on this. I actually have my daughter shoot my photos for me. Uh, she's very big into photography and likes doing that kind of stuff. So I was like, hey, why don't we go downtown? I think it took us like 25, 30 minutes. We went downtown, we took a bunch of photos, and then I picked a couple that I really like, and then there's one particular one that I use for all of my uh, like social media profiles. I use it in a lot of our marketing and different things like that. And so I have the same photo. Now, here's another thing. If the last time you took a photo was 20 years ago, and I'll date myself a little bit here, maybe it was at the glamour shots at the mall, and you don't look like that, don't use that photo. Get a current photo. Because one of the weirdest things that happens to me is when somebody has taken a photo, it's 20, 30 years old, and I get on a Zoom or a Teams meeting or something, and initially, I'm like, who is this that I'm on the call with here? Because it doesn't look anything like this person. That happens all the time to me. And so use a current photo because guess what? We're doing a lot of video stuff these days and we want that photo to match. I'll tell you what, here's a story that I had that just kind of blew me away. There was a realtor that we were working with several years ago and she had the, the glamour shots photo that all realtors have for the most part, right? And I saw her and I was like, okay, uh, this is who we're looking for. And so we went to this little coffee shop and we're waiting. And we must have been waiting for a half hour more than you know our time. So she was like a half hour late. And finally, my wife is like, look, let's just call her. Maybe there was a mistake in the time or something like that. So my, my wife gets on the phone. She calls and the table next to us rings. And I'm like, no way. No way that's the same person. It, I, it must have been like a glamour shot from like 1975, and this is early 2000, and it, it didn't matter that she looked older, older. What mattered was the fact that she didn't look anything like her photo, and so I had no way of telling who that was, and so that happens a lot in business, and so let's say you're walking around at a conference and you don't look like your photo. People won't say hi to you. People that you know won't say hi to you because you don't look like you. And so the same thing happens when you get on these Zooms and other different meetings where it throws them off. In the first several minutes, they're going, this is not Mike. Who is this person? It's one of the reasons why I, I have this hat and I just happen to start wearing it and doing videos. And now a lot of times when I'm you know doing a session with a client or doing a session somewhere else, I'm wearing this hat or a similar hat because people are used to seeing me like this. And I want what they're used to to, to show up so that's not one more barrier to the discussion. Because believe it or not, psychologically, these things create barriers to your discussion. So strip away the barriers by using the same photo across all your social media. Get something that's fairly current so that it looks like you, it feels like you, all that kind of stuff. And that way your audience isn't confused at all if they see you on a video or something else. So if you have questions about this, as always, you know how to reach me. We'll see you later.